I found the best movie build right now, which not only gives you huge bit of hump to heal up quickly, high cooldown reduction to keep spamming your skills, but also very high true damage from the new Thunderbelt effect. During this video I'll explain some attention points to really maximize her damage. So pay close attention because this only works if you combine the trick from this video. So let's start. I suggest you use this build in emblems. And during the video I'll explain why we need those specific items and how to use them to become a very strong ruby. The first thing you notice is that this build doesn't include boots, which all makes sense a bit later on. During the lane phase, it helps to think of the minions as healing objects. And I often try to deal damage to the enemy first and heal up on the minions afterwards. Unstable, unstable network. The wolf is coming. Wash my foot with blood. Well, Ruby doesn't heal that quickly right now, but things will change in just a couple of minutes. Whenever you can't safely hit the turret, try to get the XP crap instead. Ruby is an excellent hero to cut the lane, and here we saw most of the heroes between mid and bottom lane, which gives us the opportunity to go safely to this position and kill the minions here for the full 100% of the XP and goals. Ling is at the other side of the map, so hopefully he doesn't mind we take this monster over here. During teamfights, you want to try to position yourself on such a way that you can hit the most amount of enemies possible with your skills. This way you slow, stun and deal the most amount of damage while also healing up because of the spell fan. Our first kill. And we have bought the Thunderbelt, the item which makes Ruby so powerful. The reason we have this item as the first one is because every time the damage effect activates against an enemy hero, you gain one hybrid defense permanently. You want to stack up as much of them as possible because your defense determines your damage. And the only thing you need to do is just use your basic attack, preferably at multiple enemy heroes at once to get more than one stack. Because Ruby can heal very well, it's easy to get some stacks during early game at the enemy. Well, you can heal up again. This is really important to dominate during late game. Another important thing you need to understand well from now on is that her passive increases the damage of the Thunderbelt. After Ruby casts a skill, she jumps a small distance and adds hybrid defense to her, which further increases the damage of the Thunderbelt. Therefore, try to keep 3 stacks for max damage. We only have this item for a few minutes, but we are already at 8 stacks, which is not bad at all. Always prioritize minions, if they aren't around, 
you can look for jungle monsters for extra farm. The Thunderbelt already capable of dealing over 300 damage, which is quite a lot for this stage of the match. The second item is the War Axe, and this item is an essential because of the cooldown reduction, spell vamp, as well as the extra damage when gathering stacks. This item not only gives her offense, but also her sustainability a boost. Like you see, Ruby acts quite well against two enemies on her own. Don't forget to use basic attack to get stacks of Thunderbelt. Low on HP means finding some minions to heal. Seven minutes in, and we have 16 stacks of Thunderbelts, which equals to 32 extra damage every time. Ruby's passive can be utilized to keep being mobile, even without having boots. I highly prefer this way, because an extra item adds just a huge amount of damage in late game, which you'll see soon. Do you see how tanky Ruby already gets? Our next item is Hunter Strike, and we mainly need this for the cooldown reduction and the extra damage. The increased movement speed after 5 attacks is a nice bonus. As long as there are enough units to heal up, Ruby has an easy time to take some more risk. A lot of allies struggle against Hayabusa, but not Ruby. Pay attention to enemies who get anti heal items, since this counters Ruby big time and make her a lot less sustainable. The next item in line are the Queen's Wings, which we need for multiple reasons. The cooldown reduction is helpful to get to 40% and the spell vamp helps Rui as well. And then we have the unique passive effect. When having low HP, you get 30% damage reduction and reduce the skill cooldowns by 2 seconds. You also deal more damage the lower your HP is. So don't forget that when you have this effect activated, you'll be a lot tougher to take down. Next, we want to buy Oracle, which adds the less 10% cooldown reduction, as well as some hybrid defense. This item also increases the healing effect by 30%, which is of course great for Ruby to further improve her sustainability. Note how I keep spamming skill 1. This gives me full amount of defense of a passive, as well as the max stacks from the War Axe, making her ready for battle. When entering a team fight, always aim for the damage dealers. Ruby can go in quite easily and heal herself up, so make sure you pick the right opponent. A 
Look how satisfying this health abyss. Then lastly we have the Radiant Armor, which adds a decent amount of magic defense, especially if you get stacked from a unique passive. This item adds 40 magic defense as base stats, and up to 120 defense from the unique passive, adding up to 160 defense, which equals to 160 extra damage with the Thunderbelt at max stats. Like you see, those team fights are so satisfying, because as long as Ruby is able to cast her skills, she gets full HP every time. To get the full power as a team fight, try to keep spamming her skills to get 3 stacks passive. Also, don't miss, so your War Axe stacks will stay at 6. Then there are the Radiant Armor stacks, which greatly increase your defense and extra damage from the Thunderbelt. From here, it's just keep dealing damage with skills and basic attack whenever you can. From here on, you really start to see those high damage from Thunderbelt, which are so satisfying. This was my guide about how to play Ruby. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. And I also love to hear which hero you use with the new items. Don't forget to check out this video about how to jungle like a pro.